Today's debate took place as News Channel 5 received the results of an exclusive poll showing this race is a tight one. Frankel leads Hasner based on our poll conducted by public policy polling, but that lead is within the poll's margin of error, meaning this race is way too close to predict. News Channel 5's Evan Axelbank was at today's debate. He joins us live in our studio with a breakdown. Jay Kelly Lois Frankel spent eight years running West Palm Beach, but it's a deal struck towards the end of her term that led Hasner to pounce early. No one will forget Digital Domain's bankruptcy filing in September that cost the Treasure Coast hundreds of jobs. Adam Hasner is not letting Lois Frankel forget the $10 million deal that the city struck with the film company's CEO, John Texter, to build a film school in West Palm Beach. Why did John Texter get the money from the city of West Palm Beach, and was it in response to the $20,000 in campaign contributions that he gave to Ms. Frankel's campaign? Mr. Hasner, you're being very disingenuous about campaign contributions. First of all, let me just say this. When the, when the digital domain deal was going, I wasn't running for anything. They're fighting so hard because control of Congress could depend on who wins this race. Our poll shows that Franco's lead amongst females is nine points, bigger than Hasner's four-point lead amongst men. Frankel raised issues that she sees as important to women several times. There's probably no bigger pocketbook issue for women than being able to be in control of their own personal health care. Hasner is hammering on the economy, arguing that the deficit could be closed if more were working. President Obama said it back in 2010. He said, let's not raise taxes when the economy is bad. I agree with him. After disagreeing over Medicare, with Frankel saying that Hasner would end it as we know it, and Hasner saying that her lack of specifics endangered the program's long-term viability, the debate ended with a chance for a question from each candidate. Uh, would you join me in making a pledge and commitment to voluntarily term limit yourself? Frankel answered a question with a question. My pledge is not to ever take away the right of choice from women because I trust women. If you can promise me that and you take that pledge, I'll consider yours. We asked Hasner about whether polls showing him slightly behind made him nervous, but he says, Jay, that the race is just heating up. Evan Axelbeck in our studio. Evan, thank you. Well, in case you missed today's debate, we'll be airing the entire debate right here on News Channel 5 on Sunday at noon. We have also posted the debate on our website, WPTV.com. Just click on the scene on 5 tab.